Hello everyone and welcome to stoichiometry problem number five. My name is Mike Cross. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and look at how gases can be involved in stoichiometry problems. So this problem says how many liters of nitrogen at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, will be produced from the complete decomposition of 84 grams of sodium azide. Sodium azide is used in uh, the airbags that are deployed during automobile accidents. So the sodium azide solid uh, rapidly decomposes and produces um, quite a large amount of nitrogen gas which inflates the airbag. So for this one, um, we have our trusty plan of attack, just like always, but we're going to be doing something slightly different with it. So, um, But before we do that, we need to do what we always do, which is to double check that our, um, our equation is... Um, balanced otherwise we'll end up getting the wrong answer so it does look like we have one sodium on each side that's a good sign but on the left here we have three nitrogen and on the right we only have two so I'm going to need to put a two here and then a three here that will give me six nitrogen on each side and then to finish balancing it I better put a two there so that I have two sodium on each side so now I have a balanced equation that's great next step is to go ahead and set up our trusty stoichiometry problem. So let's go ahead and do that. Now what is our question mark in this case? Well it says how many liters of N2? So question mark liters of N2. And then it does um, give us a number here which is 84 grams of sodium azide which is this weird NaN3. Okay. And um, looking at this, we're starting with grams of one substance, right, sodium azide, um, and we can easily convert that to moles and then do a mole-to-mole -mole ratio or a balanced equation domino, turn that into moles of nitrogen. Uh, in our plan of attack, we would end up with grams of nitrogen. We don't really want that, though. We actually want um, liters of nitrogen. Luckily, we can take a little shortcut here because... Um, if you remember when we talked about gases, one mole of any gas at STP, which um, this problem specifically mentions it's at STP, one mole of a gas at STP has a standard molar volume of 22.4 liters. Okay, So that 22.4 liters is going to be um, rather important. Okay, So um, once we get to moles, then we can go ahead and convert to liters pretty easily. So let's go ahead and start with our grams, which we have here in the top left. Let's convert that to moles using the molar mass of um, sodium azide. So I'm going to put one mole of NaN3 there in the top left. Um, looking at my periodic table, adding up the molar mass of sodium and three nitrogens, that comes out to about 65.01 grams of NaN3. Okay, let's double check that those cancel out. Looks like grams of sodium azide top and bottom. That's a good sign. All right, we now have moles of sodium azide. We're going to need to do a balanced equation domino or a mole to mole ratio, whatever you'd like to call it. Let's put moles of sodium azide on the bottom and let's go ahead and put moles of nitrogen up top because we're trying to turn this into nitrogen at the end of the day. Now, our next step is to use our balanced equation. Looks like our sodium azide has a 2 as the coefficient, so let's go ahead and make sure we have a 2 on our domino here. And then our nitrogen has a 3 in front, so let's put a 3 on our domino as well. Let's go ahead and double check that everything cancels. Moles of sodium azide cancel out, top and bottom. Okay. And then our final step is we now have moles of nitrogen. We want liters, but remember, um, as I mentioned earlier, that I can say one mole of N2, since this is at STP, is equal to 22.4 liters of N2. It's a little shortcut there. All right, make sure that our moles of nitrogen cancel, liters of nitrogen cancel, everything canceled out. So, plug and chug time. Let's go ahead and punch these into our calculator. Um, let's see, 84 times 1, times 3, times 22.4. 
and then let's divide by our denominator and the calculator says this should be about 43 if we round to two sig figs and our units of course have to be liters of nitrogen so we were able to figure out that um, 84 grams of sodium azide would give us 43 liters of nitrogen as long as it's at STP. Now you might think, what if it wasn't at STP? Well, then we couldn't use this shortcut that we used here um, because it wouldn't end up being uh, 22.4 liters per mole. Um, so we'd have a couple of options, um, but we'd have to use a gas law in order to um, either convert our our final answer, 43 liters, um, using the combined gas law, changing the temperature or pressure to whatever our problem would state. Um, or we could use PV equals NRT. Um, either way would work, but in this case it made it easy simply because it mentions that everything's at STP. All right.